Hey y'all, how's it going YouTube? How's it going everyone? It's Marky Marky Mark here and I'm back to do a mystery unboxing. Though this is technically my fifth or seventh one, or my eighth one, I'm not so sure. I <laughs> gotta keep track of my mystery boxes, mystery what's in the box uh, videos. So with that, let's take a look here. It's from Diabolic DVD. Oh wow, Diabolic DVD. Where did I even order this? Hmm. I'm gonna have to say, since yesterday was the release day for this certain item, hmm. let's see this. Hmm. It's rather light. I give this an A plus, a five star. Oh, it's pretty, pretty big. Pretty big indeed. Let's take it out. Very, very gently. Oh, there. Oh boy, I'll just work it anyway. Oh fuck, I gotta fix that problem, but heck, I'll do that in a moment. Um, let's see what's in here, y'all. Okie dokie now. I'm sold on that. There's some damage series. So let's see what is in it. In the box. <gasps> what is this? Is this the, oh, you betcha, the Donnie Tarko 4K UHD HDR from Aero Video. Look at that, folks. Arrow video, folks. And holy cow, I finally got it. Comes with both versions of the film. Um, uh, both versions of the film. This one has the theatrical cut. This one's the director's cut. I'm gonna have to stick with the direct director's cut on this. I'm not, I did saw the theatrical version when I had the steel book that I purchased it on my birthday and <laughs> I'm gonna have to say I liked it, but it had something missing. And now I have the director's cut, but unfortunately on my PS4 it won't play um, the 4K. So I'm gonna have to wait till the holidays to please um, to get a PS5 that can play 4Ks and DVDs and Blu-rays at the same time. So maybe around the holidays of this year, I'm definitely getting this. Mm-hmm. With the, let's take a more in-depth look at this on the man cave. All righty, y'all. All right, all right. So we're here in the man cave, and let's see what stuff, what what crutchmans lie on this thing. So that's time to peel it off. Oh. <laughs> Very flashy, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. All out. And approximately four years ago, there was that um, four-disc edition that has the Blu-ray DVD combo pack, which had the theatrical versions and the director's cuts and a booklet, I think, and or bonus disc. But that said, it went out of print quickly, and I can't believe I missed out on getting it until I heard a few months ago this is coming out. But tech and of course, and then I pre-ordered it. And I'm leaving the J car, which is this thing underneath that holds it. And um, this is very, very loose. And let's see what lies in here, of course. And what's limited is that this has, uh, let's see, it has the poster. I mean, no, sorry. <laughs> it, wait, okay, it's 4K restoration taken from the original camera negatives. Supervised by Arrow Films, and you have everything in here, and including, of course, a six, a six doubled, double slide sided car, a collector's postcards, limited edition packaging with the reversible sleeves featuring the newly commissioned artwork by Luke Pierce. Also, this includes, ooh, well, it has subtitles. That's a good thing. You had audio commentaries, and you got a. 100 page hardcover book featuring featuring writing by Nathan Rabin, Anton Bittel, and Jamie Graham, and in depth interview with Richard with director Richard Kelly, and an introduction by actor Jake Johan, a contemporary coverage illustrated uh, with original stills, promotional materials, and you already read this last part. So yeah, let's take a look at this book, of course. Oof, it's got a lot of stuff in here, so. Wow. Uh, it's 
got the hardcover book, 100 page. Let's take a look at this, y'all. You have the character of Donnie. Everything from cast and crew, cult, the, the cult of Patrick Swayze, page 81. Yeah, for a little trivial questions that anyone did not know anything about this movie, is that um, Patrick Swayze had some of his wardrobe in the 80s, from the 80s that he wore at that time. And here's a very really cool one. Hold on. Yeah, Frank the Rabbit, or the Bunny, if you will. Oh. Patrick Swayze. He's in this. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Hey, hey. Let's see another part. Oh, here's a scene in the theater. We have the female character and, and Donnie Darko, and there's Frank the Rabbit. Very cool, isn't it, folks? So, yeah. Arrow Films, y'all. Arrow Films. Then you have the poster which is from the newly commissioned artwork. If you don't like that, I'm just gonna show you a peek. Uh, just, uh, let me see. Another reverse artwork on this, which is this artwork, or you'll keep this artwork. So it's your choice. And let's take a look at the case. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna show you more of the, of the Blu-ray. Whoa! Ah, smells good, the, this hardcover book. And let's take a look at this as well, in the back. Hmm. I believe that's the face of Frank Rabbit, all right. Definitely the face of Frank Rabbit. Arrow video, shout-outs to you guys. You did not skimp on the material. <laughs> and now let's take a look at this. Here's a new cover art. And let's take a look what's in here. All right, dudes. Well, it looks like you have more box sets here or other things. Wow. Oh, but let's be clear. I'm not a big fan of streaming. Mm -hmm. I can't even speak this stuff. Le Cot, le, le Cot, Canturiano, La Morte e Fu. Tempo di, di Massacario. Hmm. It's a sort of a spaghetti western Italian stuff. So yeah. And of course, here we have the double-sided cards. You got one with our character in here. And here's the poster of the artwork. Take a look at that, folks. And then you have um, the theater scene with the characters and the, they saw in the book and the 200 page book and this is the scene from the movie and again you have the poster art which I've noticed you have the character and the girl in this one hmm. poster artwork folks ah you have Drew Barrymore in this film pretty cool pretty cool Awesome. And I believe you have that scene in the movie. I believe Donnie Darko's sister's in this. Then you have Frank the Rabbit. Or the bunny, if you will. So, yeah. And, and let's take a look at the Blu-ray discs. One is the theatrical version of the film. The other is the director's cut of the film. Mm -hmm. Definitely the director's cut. Now, of course, there is something wrong. I heard through something of that um, there's something wrong with the theatrical cut of the film, disc one, because I heard there's some sort of a color issue and frame issue with it. So I'm planning on getting, planning on getting that as soon as possible, but I'm still, what I'm still gonna stick with is the, um, um, Director's cut, disc, disc two. So yeah, 
And that's what I'm going to be getting that soon. So I'll contact Arrow Video as soon as possible to send me a replacement disc for the theatrical cut. But I'm going to stick with the director's cut. It's cool. And with the, let's take a look at the reverse spark work. And whoa. Let me, let me be careful with this, folks. Hold on a second. Here is the rever is the poster art when the movie came out in 2001. So with that, let me just um, let me just fix this. So yeah, it's very very crazy, but cool, but cool. Major sequel to cool. And oh, it's getting crazy with this. <laughs> oh. Hold on a second, folks. It's gonna be difficulty to push it all in here. Look. There we go. Here's the poster. Here's the reverse artwork. Pretty cool and awesome. This is how I always do with some of the releases. And the next, and of course, after this video, we're gonna see what's on the envelope that my sis ordered for me a few weeks ago, prior to my birthday. Okay, let's see what's the next one. So yeah, Shaw's Tarot video. Thank God I have this set in my possession. Let's go to the next one. Alrighty. Now what we got here is from the company um, which is known as Mint Ch Mintich Authentics, which is what you've seen before uh, for another autograph that I might have purchased there once or not if I didn't do a unboxing on that. But this is the site I found it on Instagram. And let's take a look. Handle with care, fragile. Thank you. So yeah, my sis got me this, and what is in here? How am I going to open this? Here we go. Wow, that worked. So, let's take a look at what's in this year um, package on this big envelope. And with any of their products that they sell online, they always um, have this certificate of authenticity. Plus, just to be clear, you all, you can follow them on Instagram. You just saw the name. So, let's take a look what's on this autograph, which they packaged it very well. And it's the... Holy shoot, can this be it? Can this be it? The autograph signed by stuntman actor Tom Morga from Friday the 13th. Part five, the new beginning. That's right, folks. This is the one. Oh my god, I got a 485 autograph. Mm hmm. That's right. This is the one. Tom Marga, Jason number five. That's Roman numerals, folks. And this is it. That's was witnessed. This is what they do with these autographs. Very authenticated, signed by the celebrities. And these, and you can get this at $44 on that site. So I'll leave you the link in the description box down below. Same with CSR collectibles. Wow, that's a lot. And I'm going to have to say, it is great to have this autograph. I got a part five. I, I got a part one. I want to get a part two pretty soon, which I ordered from another site. But it's not going to be signed by Steve Dash because he untimely passed three years ago. So, yeah, I'm going to get the Warrington Gillette autograph of Jason jumping out of the window and tacking Amy Steele with the machete on his shoulder. That's the one I'm getting. And But look at this, folks. And when you, if any of you fans know, if you saw my previous video, I talked about part five. Well, um, technically, I'm more of a whodunit. You see these, Mark? These chevrons, or blue diamonds, if you will. Jason doesn't have that kind of mask. 
what is up with this? And revealing later on in the movie, it was someone else. So to those who haven't seen it, please watch the movie before you watch this video or any of my other videos that I talk about part five. So yeah, I don't care. This is a great film, of course. And this is a great shot, of course. And the next one, I'm gonna get another one from part five, but from a different shot. Not of this one, but in the barn scene. So yeah. Oh man, look at that, folks. So tell me tell me in the comments down below, which is your favorite Friday the 13th movie? And also, what do you think of the Arrow Video box set for Donnie Darko? Thank God, and I already gave the um, steelbook to a buddy of mine to sell it because I, I, I mean, I saw the film, my sis, it was cool, the theatrical version. I thought it had this director's cut, but it didn't. So yeah, kudos, I'm getting, I got that one. So yeah, thank you, sis, for giving me this autograph that I love, and I'm glad that I have a part five. So anyways, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off. Y'all take care. God bless you. Catch you all in the next vid.